Trump's stay in the nation will be more brisk compared to his visit to Japan, but some experts believe much more could be accomplished during that span of time, as the two sides will get to highlight their strong alliance amid rising threats from North Korea, and it will be an eye-opener for the American leader. Wu Jung-hee has the analysis. This will be the third time President Moon Jae-in holds summit talks with his U.S. counterpart Donald Trump, coming after the ones held in June and September in Washington and New York, respectively. Amid North Korea's continued nuclear and missile provocations, President Trump's visit is significant in that Seoul and Washington can reaffirm their ironclad alliance. Trump is expected to stress again that all options are on the table, including military measures to pressure Pyongyang to completely discard its nuclear ambitions. President Trump will highlight Washington's security commitment to Seoul, including the provision of an extended deterrence under its nuclear umbrella, as well as support for enhancing Seoul's defense capabilities. President Trump is set to arrive in Seoul on November 7th and leave the next day. During his short visit, Trump is expected to address South Korea's National Assembly and reiterate Washington's stance regarding the circumstances in Northeast Asia. It's a short visit, but what's included in his itinerary is more important than the length of his visit. Seoul should use this opportunity to help President Trump better understand the graveness of the security situation here. It will be great if President Trump could visit the demilitarized zone or the U.S. base in Pyeongtaek. After his stay in Seoul, President Trump is scheduled to head to Beijing. Wu Zhongyi, Arirang News.